Hey y'all, it's time for Frugal Prepper. We're getting ready to do something. It finally came back. I waited for like months. At least two months. But man, was it worth the wait. Alright, so here she is. Cylinders are honed and all nice and pretty. Oh, that's just beautiful. Perfect little tiny angle there. I love it. The deck is milled. It had eight thousandths taken off of it to make it flat. Ten thousandths is the limit on these. They didn't have to take anything out of the cylinders. The cylinders were perfect. They just honed them, and the honing process took about 1,000 saw. So we're going back with standard rings. So I'll flip her on over here. There we go. They lined hone the mains. So here's where my screw up was, where my rookie self decided to grab a dowel pen with a pair of vice grips and snap it off it was one just like this and that part cannot be bought so the machine shop got the metal on the lathe and they made me one to put in there how nice is that it's so sweet um, and they got the broken one out it broke off in the hole. I didn't really get to show that because I already had the pan on it to get it ready to go. Um, line hone clean, inspected for cracks. Um, all the surfaces are flat. The important ones um, honed. Um, the crank was darn near perfect. All it needed was polish, so we're looking at standard bearings. Standard main bearing, standard rod bearing, standard rings. Everything is standard. Um, so it had very little wear on it for its age. So what was causing the low compression? Was it the head? Negative. So they did go through and inspect the rings. And uh, they found that the rings on cylinder 2 were completely shot. And the rings on cylinder 3 were nearly shot. So, that explains the low compression we had on cylinder 2. So, I went ahead and ordered the main bearings today. I'm going to get the rod bearings here in a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to build this over a time. Because now that it's cold outside, it's not going back in until the spring. So, I'm going to get some oil on these uh, cylinders tonight. And uh, keep everything wet so it doesn't rust as I'm building. I got some assembly pre-lube and stuff. So my first thing will be to get the mains and get the crank in and plastic gauge, plastic gauge of the mains. Then next we'll have to get the mains and the rod bearings and get the pistons in it. And then it'll be time to order my full gasket set. So I am going with uh, Molly rings. <clears throat> they said at the uh, machine shop that that is what this engine has stock. So that's what I'm going with. And um, we'll see what happens. The crank is over here. It's still sealed. 
in its plastic trash bag. We'll take a look at it here. Alright, so here's the crank. I'll give you a, a nice shot of that. It's all clean. It looks really smooth and polished. It's got some good oil on the drums now from the machining. <clears throat> so I'm a happy man. Oh, I'll show you the pistons. So they took the pistons apart. Um, checked the uh, caps and rods for cracks and all that. And cleaned everything up and inspected them. So everything is perfectly fine. And they are good to go and be reused. There's no need to replace pistons or the rods or, or uh, caps. So, I don't know, I think they know this, man. Sweet. Alright, so you guys probably want to know how much all this really sweet machine work cost me. Alright, so let's talk about cost for a minute. So, I got all this machine work done and uh, I was told the price at the end by the machinist and he said, 200 bucks. And I said, what? <laughs> 200 bucks. Um, when I went to pick it up, I had 250 in my wallet and I saw how nice this looked and I just, I gave him everything I had in my wallet at the time. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have him do the head too, so I'll make sure I pay him extra on that. I would have expected this to be five to six hundred dollars at least. Um, it's a lot of machine work that he did on this thing. Um, we all, you know, he knows uh, my friend who's a mechanic really well, and he knows that uh, my mechanic friend and I have been like best friends, like inseparable since the first grade. Um, he's done some other machine work for me in the past, and I think he does a lot with my friend as well, so cut me a deal. Um, I'm so appreciative. Can't believe it. Um, that's really going to help out and the quality of this machine work is awesome. This machinist normally builds racing engines and stuff only, doesn't do this kind of work. So you know he first got he's like, really? A quad four? Are you serious? <laughs> but I was patient, I didn't rush him, you know, I was like if it takes all winter, it takes all winter man, you know. Um, I think he appreciated that because he is busy with other people who are building serious stuff. Um, and he got it done. And um, I'm just, I love it. It's just amazing. Um, it's so hard to find good machinists these days. It really is. Um, I'm really lucky. So, that's how much it costs me. If you do this build, um, it's going to cost you more, unfortunately. Uh, unless you can make friends with a machinist. I don't know how you do that. Because everybody probably tries to make friends with a machinist if they're into cars. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. This is Tom, your frugal prepper. Be happy and be frugal out there. Can't wait to get started on the videos putting this baby back together.